welcome to third session to the home school uh, we already have completed our 10 problems in your second session so today is your third session of your probability we are going to start learning problem onwards so already you can see the question here gopi buys a fish from a shop for his aquarium can you see the small aquarium here the shopkeeper takes out one fish at a random from a tank containing 5 male fish and 8 female fish. What is the probability that the fish taken out is a male fish? So it is very simple problem here. Just we can see here what is this gopi is a boy. He went to the shop and he want to buy the fishes. A shopkeeper, what he has in a fish aquarium box, he had in it five uh, male fishes and eight female fishes are there in his aquarium. So, he has to take one fish and he has to give to gopi. So, what is the probability if the fish taken out is a male fish is your question. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to write the total number of fishes. What is the total number of fishes in our probability? What is the name we call here? Sample spaces. So here, total number of fishes, that is N of S is equal to number of male fishes 5 plus number of female fishes 8. 5 plus 8 will be 13 fishes. There are 13 fishes in your aquarium box. So now, uh, what is your event question here? Event question is picking up of a male fish. So we can choose our event letter, our choice. I will choose here picking up of male fish. N of M is equal to. N of M means number of male fishes. How many male fishes are there here? 5. N of M is equal to 5. Now the probability formula. Do you remember? P of M is equal to N of M by n of s whatever event letter you are choosing that only you have to choose in your probability probability of picking male fishes is equal to number of male fishes in the box by total number of sample spaces that will be 5 by 13 so what is your probability here 5 by 13 the same question we can change the question how do we can change here? What is the probability of picking up of female fish? Female fish, how many are there? 8. So, what is the probability here? 8 by 13. With this, we are going to end this problem. And next problem, 12th problem. I am going to read the 12th problem from your NCRT next to book. A game. I can you see here a small round spinning wheel? This name is spinning wheel. You might have seen in some sports. If you press a button, the arrow, uh, it rounds, it rotates and it will stop at some position. Uh, so where it stops? So all the numbers will be having the same chance. It may stop at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Means all the numbers are having equally likely chance to get the answer so we have heard this point yesterday what is that equally likely outcome so here a game of chance consists of spinning an arrow which comes to rest pointing at one of the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and these are equally likely outcomes what is the probability that it will point at let the questions, uh, we have four sub questions here. Let's try to answer one more question here. So before that, I'm going to write the what are all the total sample spaces in this uh, spinning wheel. So what are all the sample spaces you can have here? You can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So those sample spaces are written by the letter S. Set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then now let's start counting the sample spaces. That is, number of sample spaces N of S is equal to 8. Okay, this is common for all the sub questions. Sample space won't change anywhere, but whereas the sub questions, even questions might be changing. So, what is your first even question here? What is the probability of getting 8? What is your event 
event of getting eight. In this spinning wheel, how many times you can see eight? Only one time. Here, I think here itself, right? You can see in your sample space also, this is only one chance. That means, uh, here, when you are writing in your exam or in your notes, you have to write separately. Every event, you can choose a letter. Or you can choose event 1, E1, E2, E3, E4. Yeah, wish that might be any, any letter you can choose. So, let me choose the letter here A. So, my event is A. N of A is equal to, uh, suppose first let me write here, A is equal to 8. N of A, even, event of getting 8 is only at 1 time. N of A is equal to 1. Then what is your probability of getting the number 8? P of A is equal to N of A by N of S. That is 1 by 8. So is this followed? So let's go to the next question. What is your next question? Odd number. Probability of getting odd numbers. Uh, okay, let's say here. What are all the odd numbers in your spinning wheel? 1, 2, 3, 4. So those we are going to start writing here. Uh, can we choose our event letter B here? That is if you take B. Uh, B with a set form. 1, 3, 5, 7. N of B. Number of odd numbers. Count here how many? 4. So now uh, let's clean little bit here. Okay, let me clean here a little. So probability of getting this event P of B is equal to N of B by N of S. What is your N of B here? 4. And total number of sample spaces? 8. You may write this as 4 by 8. Or you can just cancel. That will be 1 by 2 also you can write. And still we have two more questions in this problem. What are the other two questions? Let's continue your third question here. What is your third question? A number greater than 2. A number is greater than 2. I think this is a greater than symbol. Number greater than 2. Let's come back to the sample spaces. Uh, now say me how many numbers we have here. Greater than 2. Other than 1 and 2. Remaining all numbers are greater than 2. Let me have a tick here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's take another event. Let the event letter is C. And write all the numbers which are greater than 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Count the numbers and say N of C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is your probability formula here? P of C is equal to N of C by N of S. That will be 6 by 8. Or you can write this as 3 by 4 also. With this, we are going to end our third sub-question. And one more question we have here. What is the fourth sub-question here? A number less than 9. What is this? A number less than 9. Okay, let's go back to the sample spaces here. So, what are all the numbers you have less than 9? You can see all the numbers are less than 9. You have any number more than 9 and 9 also not there. So, these are all the numbers which are less than 9. So, let's go with the another event letter. If you want, you can take, I have already said for you, E1, E2, E3 you can take or A, B, C, D. Yeah, which you can take any letter. So, let me write it here. Let me take the letter D. D is equal to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. N of D is equal to 8. P of D, what is your formula? N of D by N of, yes, that will be 8 by 8, that will be 1. I hope you all have followed this with the 
this we are going to end your spinning wheel problem. Okay, let's continue the next problem. What's your next problem? 13th problem. A dive. Do you remember this dive? Yes, we know. We used to play with this dive. A die is thrown once. Find the probability of getting a prime number, a number lying between 2 and 6 and odd number. Okay, let me show you a die here. Uh, yes. Can you see the die here? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and this is 6. Okay, this is a die. What's the question? A die is thrown once. If we roll this die, what happens? We know the sample spaces. How many sample spaces will be there? First, we'll write that. If a die is thrown, sample spaces S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is N of S is equal to 6. What is your first event question here? A prime number. Prime number. So let's take an event letter. Let's go with even this time. If even is an event I am choosing here of getting prime number. So see here 1. 1 is neither prime nor composite. So let's skip this number and then go to the other number. What are the prime numbers here? Do you know what are prime numbers? A number is divisible by itself and 1 and itself is called as a prime number. I think here 2, then 3, 4 is a prime number? No, it's a composite number. Then again 5, no, 6 is not a prime number. So total how many prime numbers we have here? 3. Let's count them and say N of even. 1, 2, 3. Okay, what is your probability formula? Probability of getting a prime number. So let's write here P of E1 is equal to N of E1 by N of S. That will be 3 by 6. We can write it as 1 by 2. Okay, go to the second question. Number lying between 2 and 6. Okay, go back to the sample spaces. A number lying between 2 and 6, but not 2 and 6. Okay, what are all the numbers between 2 and 6? 3, 4, 5. So, let's go with the event. E2. E2 is equal to 3, 4, 5. Count the numbers and say N of E2 is equal to 3. And now write your probability P of E2 is equal to N of E2 by N of S. That will be 3 by 6. That is again 1 by 2. And your last sub question in this problem. An odd number. See here how many odd numbers are there in a, in a sample space? 1, 2, 3 odd numbers. Let's write with the event. E3. E3 is equal to set of 1, 3, 5. N of E3, number of this event is equal to 3. Again, probability of E3 is equal to N of E3 by N of S. That will be 3 by 6. Again, it will be 1 by 2. Okay, with this, we are going to end this problem. So,